It's the world preparing for the third conflict that engulfs many, many nations in flame. Is this the one? Is this the big one on the way? The nuclear war that none of us are ready for. I hear talk of World War Three and Donald Trump's actions as well. Either politician, either branches of politicians' actions would have resulted in, well, tightened relations with many countries. Let's not forget what the Democrats were saying. Had they won, they'd be going after Russia for trying to break into our elections. Things wouldn't be that great. What I'm getting at is, for the if you asked people around the world. What the biggest, uh, most un uh, unstable forces, the biggest destabilizing force, the largest threat to nations. Some of them would tell you, no, oh, radical Islam. Some of them would tell you, oh, it's that country over there. One in four, 25% of our planet, not including the U.S., says it's America. Have we been heading for World War III? We have been for a long time. To me, it seems like it's culturally indoctrinated into our nation that there was going to be a giant nuclear war. And this is really stupid. Because, um, everybody who's saying this isn't gonna be alive. Even though they fucking think they will. Newsflash! Nuclear war happens! We're all dead! All of us! Like, there's pro there might be a few thousand people survive, but you really want to take the odds that you're that one in a million motherfucker? Really? Really? So how many times have you won the lottery? Because living through this would be winning the lottery times a thousand. So, unless you've won a thousand lotteries, you're fucked. Here's the thing. Politicians is always do crazy shit that has massive consequences on the people below the, uh, the, the citizens' lives. And I think, as a group of citizenry, we should let our voice be heard. Say, no, fuck you, we don't want a world war, you crazy-ass bastards! What kind of crack have you been smoking in the meetings where you're supposed to be making laws? That's what we have to say. We have to put our foot down like, no! No, 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 no. This isn't going to be World War III, and no, Mr. President, let's not have an arms race. How about we continue on our journey to get rid of nuclear weapons? Now, weapons are nice. I like my gun. I like guns. They're cool. And especially when they're used responsibly. Responsible use of weaponry. My sword is my channel icon. Um... Uh, all of my swords, actually. You have to use these things responsibly. And, well, I don't think humans... I don't think our fucking monkey brains ready for nuclear weapons. Uh... Put it this way. It only takes one motherfucker to hit that button one time. And it may not happen now. And it may not happen tomorrow. Or the next day... But we're taking odds, man. We're playing the long odd game like, are you going to hit the button today? What about you? You? And you know how that works out with people. So, are we headed to war? I hope not. As, a, as the populace of America, I would think that the people want to avoid war. But our dumbass politicians, as always, are leading us into uh, uncharted waters. So, let's, let's speak about, let's speak out about it and tell these fucking mooks that, no, we don't want war with Russia, quite the opposite. Russians have very little, uh, the Russian average citizen has very little difference from me. Oh fuck, would I want to go war with those people?